In this video, you're going to learn everything you need to know about truck accident settlements in personal injury cases. According to topverdict.com, in 2021, four of the top 10 personal injury settlements involved truck accidents. Now, truck accidents happen all too frequently. According to the Texas Department of Transportation, there were 38,149 crashes involving commercial motor vehicles in 2021 alone. So what's the difference between a commercial truck accident and a passenger car accident? Well, a personal injury claim arising from a commercial truck accident is different than a claim arising from a passenger car accident in several ways. First, the rules of the road, that means the standard of care that apply to commercial truck drivers are different from those that apply to passenger vehicles. And that's because driving a commercial truck is different than driving a passenger vehicle in a variety of ways. For example, there are physical differences between a commercial truck and a passenger car. These differences include things like height, weight, acceleration time, stopping distance, turn radius, trailer, and the number of wheels that are on the vehicle itself. Second, commercial truck drivers and the companies that employ them must comply with different training and licensing requirements than drivers of standard passenger cars. For example, a commercial truck driver must undergo extensive training in how to safely operate a commercial vehicle or commercial truck in order to obtain a commercial driver's license. Finally, whereas you probably don't do a full and thorough inspection of your car before you pull out of your garage every time, a commercial truck driver must conduct a pre-trip inspection before driving his truck. A commercial truck driver must know how to check and adjust their brakes, change the configuration of the axles on the truck and perform other tasks that other drivers are just not required to do. Next, let's talk about some typical injuries that I see in truck accidents. Now, because a commercial truck can weigh as much as 30 times the weight of a typical passenger car, truck accidents often result in more severe injuries than collisions involving two passengers. Common injuries that may result from a truck accident include things like traumatic brain injury, back injuries, neck injuries, spinal cord injuries, and broken bones. So what are some of the common causes of truck accidents? Well, they include things like driver fatigue, distracted driving, speeding, blind spots, poorly maintained trucks, vehicle malfunction, a tire blowout, bad weather, bad road conditions, a wide turn, driving while intoxicated, tailgating, trailer jackknifing, unfamiliarity with the road, and aggressive or reckless driving. Trucks also carry loads that may cause an accident. Improper loading may be a cause of a truck accident if the load is improperly secured, is too heavy, is top heavy, shifts during transportation, or becomes dislodged during transportation. Now, let's talk about some of the rules of the road for truck drivers. To recover money for the harms and losses that you have suffered in a truck accident or to settle your case in a truck accident claim, you must first establish the truck driver's liability for the accident. To do so, first, you will need to establish the rules of the road that apply to commercial truck drivers. Next, you'll need to present evidence that the truck driver's failure to follow the rules of the road caused the accident. The rules of the road that a truck driver must follow may be found in certain documents such as the driver employee manual, policies and procedures, and the actual practices of the company. You can also find such rules of the road that apply to commercial truck drivers in things like training materials. On top of that, the Federal Motor Carrier Safety Act, or FMCSA, establishes various rules that truck drivers must follow to protect the safety of other drivers on the road. Now, let's talk about some of the relevant evidence in a truck accident case that you can use to actually prove your truck accident claim. Once you have identified the relevant rules of the road that truck drivers must follow and that were broken in your particular case, you'll need to obtain evidence that the truck driver who hit you violated one or more of these rules. This evidence may include things like the crash report, testimony from eyewitnesses, dashboard camera footage, information from the truck's electronic logging devices or event data recorder, the truck's hours of service records, the truck's route log, the truck driver's records of duty, the truck's maintenance and repair records, the driver's qualifications file, the driver's employment history, and the truck driver's mobile device records. So who may be responsible for a trucking accident? 
Well, unlike normal car wrecks, there are often multiple people or multiple parties who may be responsible for the wreck, whether directly or indirectly. A truck driver may be held partially accountable for an accident if a mechanical issue or load shift had a role in the collision or if the truck driver just violated one of those rules of the road we just talked about. In addition to that, the trucking company that employed the truck driver is responsible for the vehicles and its drivers that it sends out onto the highways and the roads. Trucking companies are responsible for hiring well-qualified drivers. This could become a problem if they hire someone with a long history of wrecks and place them behind the wheel of a 20,000 pound 18 wheeler truck. Trucking companies must make sure its drivers are also adequately trained and capable of driving their trucks in a safe way. This could become an issue if the company has not adequately trained and has not documented adequate training of the truck driver before putting that driver onto the road. On top of that, in some cases, third party vendors may be responsible for the truck accident. On top of that, you could hold the truck manufacturer potentially liable for a truck accident wreck. The failure of the truck or one of its components, such as a tire blowout, can result in truck accidents. This might be a maintenance issue, but if the faulty component was a manufacturing error, the manufacturer and distributor could be held liable in a product liability lawsuit. And then finally, government agencies in some rare situations may be held responsible for a truck accident. The state or local government in charge of a particular section of the highway may be held liable if a road hazard causes a truck accident. So how much can you recover in a truck accident case? The amount of money that you can recover if you're hurt in a truck accident will depend largely on the harms and losses that you've suffered from the wreck. That said, federal law requires commercial trucks in interstate commerce to carry insurance policies that will cover at least $1 million in damages. So what are some of the steps that you should take if you're injured in a truck accident? If you've been involved in a truck accident, one of the first things that you should do is obtain a copy of the police report. The police report will contain important information about what happened and who is at fault, according to the police officer. Without it, you may have a difficult time proving your truck accident case. Sometimes a truck accident injury doesn't show up immediately, as is the case in other types of car accident injuries. If you delay in getting evaluated and it turns out that you are in fact injured, the insurance company may try to say that your injuries are not related to that accident. To avoid this problem, get a medical evaluation as soon as possible after the accident. If you're seriously hurt, you should go immediately by ambulance to the emergency room. On top of that, take pictures of the damage to your vehicle, of the scene of the wreck, of the damage to the truck, and any other debris, skid marks, the surrounding area where the accident happened. And then also importantly, make sure to get the contact information of any witnesses at the scene of the wreck. And then finally, consider hiring a personal injury attorney who focuses on truck accidents to help you and represent you in your injury claim involving the truck accident. Now, that's all I've got for you today. If you like this video, give it a like. If you don't wanna miss any other videos related to truck accidents or personal injury claims, then make sure to hit that subscribe button below and turn the bell notification icon on. And of course, as always, thank you for watching.